Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Set Theory. So what is Set Theory? So as the name suggests, there will be a set of things and the questions revolving around that is nothing but the Set Theory. So generally you find these kind of questions in a way that they will give you a paragraph where almost all the details will be there and you will be followed by 3 or 5 questions. Generally it comes in 3 or 5 mark questions. So to know the basic concepts of Set Theory is always very important. So let's get started. I will explain the concept along with an example. So the question that I am taking here is, so a set of uh, people speaking the languages English, Hindi and French and there are, I have taken it as a 3 Venn diagram and then there are certain numbers in it. So let's get started with one one question so that we will understand the concept better. So the first question that they are asking is, what is the number of people speak English? So if you see English, you can see that this whole circle comes under English. So we will take it as 10 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5. So the people who are speaking English is nothing but 10 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6. So 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 5 18 plus 6 24. So number of people speaking English is nothing but 24. Next, next they are asking is number of people speaking Hindi. So when it comes to Hindi, you can see the circle B. So the whole circle comprises of the people speaking Hindi. So this is nothing but 3 plus 6 plus 4 plus 15. So 3 plus 6 plus 4 plus 15. So 6 plus 4, 10, 25 and 28. So next they are asking is people speaking French. So in case of French, you can see that the circle C. Which is nothing but 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 20. 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 20. So 10, 20, 30, 35. So the first three questions are very simple. They are just asking number of people speaking English, Hindi and French. The next question that they are asking is the number of people speaking three languages. So let's go to the circle. So this is the people speaking English. This is the number of people speaking Hindi and this is the number of people speaking French. If you can see the middle intersection, it talks about the people who speak all the three languages. So the answer for this question will be six. So what is the next question? They are asking the speak, uh, people speaking only English. So here they are telling that they don't want people who are speaking Hindi or French. They want the people who knows only English. So if you see that, let's say early problem for English, we took the whole circle. But if you see, if you're going to take three or six or five, it is a combination of Hindi as well as French. But what is the question? They are asking only English. So only English is nothing but the value 10. So 10 people know only English but they don't know Hindi or French. Next they are asking is only Hindi. Similarly how we did for this sum we are going to do it here. For Hindi it is nothing but 15 is the number of people who knows only Hindi. They don't know English or French here. So next is the number of people who knows only French. So French is nothing but if you can see that 20 is the number of people. So these are very basic questions that we will see in set theory. So the next question is they are asking both English and Hindi. So let's go to the circle back here. So they are telling the circle A and circle B they are saying the people who knows both English and Hindi. So these are the people who know only English. These are the people who know only Hindi. So this intersection shows the people who know both English and as well as Hindi. So the answer here will be 6 plus 3 which is but 9. So similarly the next question. They are asking for the people who know Hindi and French. So let's Hindi and French is nothing but the circle B and C. So this circle and this circle. So the intersection of this is nothing but our answer which is nothing but 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10. So, the number of people who know Hindi and French is nothing but 10. So next they are asking is that only English and Hindi. So find the difference between these two questions. They are asking the people who know English and Hindi. They didn't say that they shouldn't know French or something like that. They didn't mention anything in the question. But here they are specifically telling that we need only English and Hindi. We don't want people who knows French. So which is nothing but English and Hindi is nothing but these two circles. 
so, and this part of the circle represents the people who know only English and Hindi so it is nothing but three similarly the next question is only Hindi and French so these two circles represent Hindi and French and the people who knows only Hindi and French is nothing but this part of the circle so it is nothing but four so I hope you understand the differences between this here they are asking both English and Hindi here asking only English and Hindi similarly for the next question so the next question is none of the languages so in certain question they would have given it as none of the languages uh, as 10 so we can directly write it here in certain cases they will give you the number of persons from this you have to subtract it we will deal those kind of sums in a later part of our uh, videos but as of now they have given it directly so we are just taking it as such so the next question that they have given is person who speaks both English and Hindi but not French so what they are saying the people who know English and Hindi but they don't talk French so English and Hindi but they don't talk French when you see this question it is more similar to the one that we dealt earlier that only English and Hindi the same answer is going to be applicable here so these are the people who know English and Hindi and as well as French but here if you see this is the intersection which talks about only English and Hindi so for the answer for this question is nothing but three so only three person who knows English and Hindi but not French so the next question they are saying that persons who know Hindi and French but not English similarly this is similar to only Hindi and French type of question so what do you know we know directly the answer is four so these are the various type of question that you find it in a simple problems so they will directly give you all the details here and from which they would have given a set of five or six question from which you have to provide the answers only from the question so these are very simple problems there are certain tough level problems where a lot of uh, things will be missing here and there where you need to use a formula to find the rest of the details and then start answering the questions so as of now we dealt with a very simple problem and the set of questions that has been followed by the problem so now i'm going to tell you the two tips that you should remember while solving the set theory question so first is the formula which is nothing but there is this total is equal to a plus b plus c minus both a and b minus both b and c minus both c and a none plus a b c so there are a lot of questions which will be revolving around this in a certain easy kind of aptitude exam you can find that they would have given all the answers for within a b and c and there will be set of questions followed by it where you can directly answer from it but generally what they do they will give you few set of questions and then where you have to use this formula to find the rest of the answers and then you have to start finding the questions in the upcoming videos we will be using this formula to solve a lot of questions the second tip is that let's say let's take this question out of 100 person at least each person knows one of the three languages when you find the word at least in your question so as we know that at least is nothing but minimum to maximum so at least one person minimum one person knows all the three languages which means people who don't know either of the language is nothing but zero so people who know none of the language is zero so in most of the questions what they will do is that you will be thinking that why am i not able to find none though i have solved is using this formula and all that that's because there's a catch in the question in the question itself they have already mentioned that at least one person knows each of the language which means directly you can go and write it in your answer paper that none is zero so if this is the important thing that you should remember while solving the problem in set theory so in the upcoming videos we'll be dealing with a lot of tougher problems from the set theory topic so if you are a person who is looking for a job kindly register in our freshersworld.com kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you <laughs>